This is for Connor. Connor, look. Look at me, Madeline and Barbie. This is yours, Connor. Don't tear that. What you got, Connor? Giving him a Oh, wow. Read the verse on it. Connor, look. Says this little Bible I give with love to a precious little one sent from heaven above. Now this little Bible can guide on his way. It can guide on life's way. It can even be carried with a lovingly bride's bouquet. For him to give to his bride. Oh. August 11th, 1999 was one of the happiest days of my life and many others. That is when James Connor Dotson made his arrival. I had a wonderful pregnancy, um, carried him to 39 weeks. Towards the end of my pregnancy, I developed severe preeclampsia. They had to induce my labor. It was a very long process and ended in C-section. He weighed six pounds. At the time, I worked in the newborn nursery at the hospital, so I knew when I came out of recovery from my C-section, you know, my family was kind of, you could tell they were a little concerned, some were crying, and I wasn't sure why. And basically, when he was born, you know, he looked a little different than the other babies that, um, you know, that we were used to seeing. He had some physical characteristics that were different. We knew that something was different with Connor. Even though he looked different than the other babies, I mean, he was the most beautiful baby I had ever seen. As he got older, he started having some seizures. His first seizure was at 15 months, and by far that's the scariest thing that any of us ever endured with Connor. It's very scary, you know, seeing your baby go through that. Connor had delayment with meeting his milestones, you know, sitting, walking, things like that. He didn't sleep very well for the first two years of his life. That was a struggle, but he was the happiest baby. He was um, just, Connor's known to be very, very happy. Connor, look at mommy. Are you good? Are you good, boy? And on probably a a few days before his 10th birthday is when we got a call from that Dr. Hall that we'd been seeing every year since he was born. And Dr. Hall said, I know what syndrome Connor has. He said he has Nicolaides Baritzer syndrome. I had never heard of that. And over the course of those 10 years, I didn't lose sleep over it. I never blamed God or wondered, why did God give us a son with a syndrome? I never questioned that. I felt like I'm the lucky one. I have this happy little boy who is just an angel, really. We're the blessed parents. And in fact, you know, the day he was diagnosed, it really didn't change a whole lot because we knew that we really didn't care what Connor had. We just knew that he was a special little boy that we would love no matter what. We're devoted to caring for him and making sure that his life is great. And actually his quality of life is better than all of ours put together. Nicolaides Baritzer syndrome is a very rare condition. When Connor was diagnosed, he was the only one in the United States with it. At the time, I believe that he was one of 23 in the world. Since then, there's been more diagnosis of it, and I think now the count is probably up to, I don't remember the exact numbers, but maybe like 
70, 80 kids in the world and several in the United States. And we have met several of those children and families and uh, they all share some unique similarities with their appearance. Um, they all kind of look alike. You know, I don't think of Nicoletti's Baritzer syndrome as a curse. I wouldn't change Connor for the world. I think he's absolutely perfect. He is happy all the time. He is so genuinely just happy. That's how I would describe him, and so loving and so sweet. Um, he is 15 years old now and really has outgrown a lot of those health issues that he started with. The biggest thing for Connor is that he, you know, has a seizure disorder and the developmental delay. But I've never wished Connor was any different than what he is now. I wouldn't take away that syndrome for him or change anything about him. I feel that God made him perfect for us and that God is being glorified through Connor, through us every single day of his life. And to know Connor is to love Connor. And I think everyone that knows him would say the same. of wonder Your hearts skies of endless blue And your dreams are innocent adventures And I thank God for you Yes I some of the things my sweet boy loves is he is absolutely crazy in love with horses. We typically every year for his birthday we go to the horse park in Lexington and he just loves the horses. He would stand for hours looking at them. We got to visit a friend's farm here in London not too long ago and Connor was just mesmerized by the horses. He's kind of a little afraid of them, but he would interact really well with them. And I mean, since he was a little boy, he's just been mesmerized by them. He loves really all animals. His favorite things to do are just being outside, any sporting event he absolutely loves. He's his little brother and little sister's biggest fan at you know their ball games and stuff. One of the, my most favorite things with Connor is when he goes to church. Uh, we love taking him to church. During praise and worship, he truly worships the Lord. He raises his little hands, he claps. He is just amazing to watch and to see him truly feel what God's doing for him during church. I can remember when he was smaller, taking him to town or taking him out to eat. and. You could hear people whisper, and actually strangers would come up to me and say, what's wrong with him? Is he a Shriners baby? Uh, does he have a syndrome? I would just say, yeah, he has a syndrome, not sure which kind, but to us, we call it the beautiful syndrome because he's absolutely beautiful to us and perfect, and, and honestly, we wouldn't change him for the world. And actually, Connor's syndrome has turned out to be the greatest blessing ever because he's impacted our lives in such a positive way. He has really made us who we are. 
we're able to see the joy that sometimes only Connor can see. <laughs> and I'm so thankful because of the way God created him, he's able to bless us all every single day of our lives. There's a verse in the Bible that has always comforted me and gave me peace. It's in John. And it's basically when Jesus and his disciples see the blind man. And the disciples ask Jesus, why is this man blind? Was it something that his parents did or that he did? Jesus answered, neither this man nor his parents sinned, but that the works of God should be revealed in him. And what do we say? Thank God. Thank God, but we say amen. 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 Is there anything? Go, go. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you.